Hi, the thing I like the most about Han Xiang is the teachers, the givers of knowledge, candles who burn themselves to enlighten the students. Teachers at Han Xiang are not only that, but they are also kind and understanding. They are also very friendly. This creates an environment for learning which is both effective and fun. This makes the students come to school with a smile on their face and leave happy. Han 所以我們要先來了解一下中文。所以我們要先來了解一下中文。所以我們要先來了解一下中文。所以我們要先來了解一下中文。所以我們要先來了解一下中文。所以我們要先來了解一下中文。所以我們要先來了解一下中文。所以
we proceed, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you, okay, who are present here today. Thank you for taking your time to attend this session. And uh, trust me, this session is important as you get to know a lot of information regarding your academics and also CoQ uh, in, over here in Hanchang. So uh, I encourage you guys to stick until the end of the session. Now, uh, just a reminder to all students, there will be a link that will be sent to you at the chat area, the chat box over there. So kindly click on the link and fill in the necessary details. Uh, this is for us to record your attendance. Okay, so I repeat, um, there will be a link that, that will be sent at the chat area over there. So students, kindly click on the link and fill in the necessary details. This is for us to record your attendance. All right, and also parents, uh, just to let all of you know that at the end of the session, we will have a Q&A session. So I would like, uh, so if you have any questions, okay, feel free. Okay, don't, don't be shy, all right, to ask us uh, at the chat box area over there. Okay, so without further delay, now will be the playing of the national anthem, state anthem, and also the school anthem.
大家好，欢迎收看由冰城寒江中学 Production Studio 所带来的特备节目。我是今天的主播申威，我是今天的主播心灵。二零二零年初，在新冠肺炎疫情的笼罩下，教育这方面面对了前所未有的冲击和挑战，从原本的实体课、啊、转换为线上的网课，而如今。网课已经成为了教育这方面的新方案。寒江师生也在这段时间，从刚开始的一步步摸索，到至今也习惯了这个新常态，不知不觉中也成为了网课方面的佼佼者。今天是否配合寒江中学创校七十一周年，我们有幸的为大家带来这部短片，请大家观赏。校方和老师们都尽心尽力地为学生提供最好的课堂知识，同时啊，也在关心学生所面对的问题，这也让学生感受到了校方和老师们的爱与关怀。虽然隔着屏幕，却毫无影响师生之间的关系。李老师，谢谢您老师，谢谢您老师，谢谢您老师。谢谢林老师，谢谢林老师，谢谢林老师。此外，校方也在这段期间积极的举办了一系列的活动，如新春联欢会、感恩日、教师节等，让全校师生一起参与，感受不一样的气氛。同时，联课活动也依然在线上举行，让学生依然可以在有限的空间里学习新事物。学生也踊跃地参与了各社团所举办的活动，让线上联课增添了不少色彩。同学们也积极参与校外主办的线上比赛，均取得了优越的成绩。你是我面对生活勇敢的力量网课已经成为了新常态，学生们的学习心态也必须调整，必须更加的自律和努力，方能考出好成绩，不辜负师长和努力的自己。在二零二零年的大考中，寒江中学的学生也在这方面突破了自我，考取了亮眼的成绩。
。同时啊，韩江中学校长江美丽硕士也获得了由东北县教育局所颁发的二零二一年槟城卓越教师服务奖，和由滨州教育局颁发的卓越教师服务奖。真的是可喜可贺啊！谢谢你的努力，谢谢自己没放弃，谢谢你一路坚持到这里江校长和学长姐们真是双喜临门。如今疫情依然严峻，因此在此呼吁大家一定要做好防范措施，以保护自己和家人。在影片的尾声，我们也想借此机会向所有的前线人员致敬，你们辛苦了，感恩你们无私的付出，在这段最艰辛的日子里，拼尽全力的为国贡献。牺牲小我，完成大我。Sending thanks and warm thoughts to all of you who are working during these challenging times. Thank you for giving your strength to so many. I am thankful for your commitment to caring for our community. Your dedication and skills are making a difference. Thank you for being there for us. We are grateful for your support. We are very lucky to have you. And we know it. You are truly a hero. Thank you. Every day, you are, you make a commitment to serve our country. You are one of the best and the bravest. Your tireless efforts are not going unnoticed. You have my support and heartfelt appreciation for all you do. We depend on your strength and can never thank you enough. We are deeply grateful to you for all the sacrifices that you and your family are making. Words are not enough to thank you for your strength, courage, and dedicating. Being it on the front line is easy, but if but it is very much appreciated. You deserve our applause, our thanks, and our respect. You are making a bigger impact than you realize. Our community is better because you are our part. Stay safe.祝韩江中学校庆快乐！也愿大家平安健康，祝韩江中学校庆快乐！谢谢收看，我们下一次再会。Alright, you know, after seeing this video, hopefully you guys uh, get to understand more about Hanjiang High School. As you can see, uh, we, are, we are very, very active over here. We have uh, lots of activities and uh, hopefully you, know, you guys will be excited for next year as well. So, next I'm just going to go through the hierarchy and also to get you guys familiarized with the organizational chart over here uh, in Hanjiang. So just to let all of you know that over here in Hanjiang, we consist of three different institutions. First, we have the Hanjiang Primary School. And next, we have the uh, Hanjiang High School. And also, we have the Hanjiang University College. Next, I'm going to introduce a few, uh, many, sorry, not a few, many important people over here.
So, Han Chang's executive advisor, he is uh, Tan Sri Datu Sri Tan Kok Ping. And next, we have the chairman of Han Chang Board of Directors, Datu Sri Unui Su Hing. And Dr. Mu Siong Boon is the chairman of the PTA, and he is also the member of the BOD. Now, I would like to introduce the Han Chang High School administrators. First, we have our principal, Madam Kang Bi Lee. Next, our vice principal, Ms. Wu Xiao Wei. Next, we have our vice principal, who is also the head of discipline department, Mr. Peng Yik Don. And next is our vice principal also, okay, who is the who is also the head of external affair office, Dr. Wa Si Hui, who is uh, our main speaker for today later on. Next will be our Dean of Studies, Mr. Lim Xiong Ging. Next is the uh, Deputy Dean of Studies, Madam Kui Yen Ling. Next will be Ms. Lau Bi Fang and also Mr. Li Chiao Hock. Now, uh, parents and students, if you have any questions regarding your academics, such as uh, exams, you know, your marks or courses to take, okay, these are the people that you would want to meet and ask your questions, all right? And next, the COO of Hanjang English Center, Madam Rajinder. And now next to the discipline department, the deputy head of discipline department, Mr. Kyo. Next will be Madam Yang Ruhan and also Madam Tan Jing Han. Next will be the head of counseling and Psycho psychology department, Madam Tio Ai In. Now head of co department, Ms. Po Sok Boy. Next will be the deputy, Ms. Tio Ka Ying and also Mr. Gan and also Mr. Jin. So if you have questions regarding your co queue, you can always look for all these people, all right? Now the next, uh, sorry, next is the head of multimedia department, Mr. Tio Tech Chun, and the head of library, Ms. Lee Tuan Hong. And the deputy head of external affairs office, Mr. Yeo Jia Dong. All right, so these are all the important people, okay, over here, and uh, yes. So next, I would like to pass this time to our vice principal, Dr. Wa Sihui, to give her own briefing. So, uh, Dr. Wa, over to you. Thank you, Sam. Can you all hear me? Yes. So you can hear me, right? Okay, good. Okay, I hope you can see my screen as well. Yes, can I see some yes there? Can you see my screen? Good, thank you for the response. Very attentive audience. Okay, so uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2022 Online Orientation Day of Panjang High School. This year, we admit 350 Junior 1 students. Congratulations for making the cut, and I hope that you cherish this opportunity to work hard and live to your full potential. I'd also like to thank you for choosing Panjang and supporting us by being part of our big family. This is the beginning of your high school life to receive a high quality education, make new friends and build memory together. Our mission is to nurture the learning of Chinese language and to instill virtues into our next generation so that they will aspire to be contributing members of our society. Under the leadership of our BOD, Hanjiao High School not only emphasizes the academic, co queue and sports performances, but also our students' heart intelligence. Besides helping our students to master Bahasa Malaysia, Chinese, and English languages, we encourage them to compete in many national and international competitions to develop their global vision. After 100 years of establishment, 
Hanchang High School is equipped with up-to-date facilities and technical skills and knowledge to help its students prepare for tertiary education or vocational degree if they desire so. Hanjiang High School is also a high quality institution with the fastest, fastest growth. Ministry of Education has awarded our school with the honor of five star excellence school awards in 2009, 2012 and 2015 for private schools as an outstanding education role model. We provide a wide range of courses to preparing students to be well-rounded in their foundation. The school provides two courses, the Unified Examination Certificate, which I will refer to as UEC, and the International General Certificate of Secondary Education, which I will refer to as IGCSE. The UEC course is divided into three years of junior curriculum and three years of senior curriculum a total of six years of high school courses. Senior tree is equivalent to A-level, which meets the admission requirements of all international university. The certificate of UEC is recognized by local, private, and overseas universities. The three-year junior high school UEC course emphasized the foundation of all subjects plus three languages. We offer two junior UEC courses, one in English and one in Mandarin. For our junior Mandarin UEC class, they will study Cambridge English, Mandarin, Bahasa Malaysia, Math, Science, taught in both English and Mandarin, History, Geography, Art, Information and Communication Technology and Physical Education. As for junior English UEC class, Mathematics, Science, History, Geography are taught in English. And you'll also have Sejara, History of Malaysia, for the IGCSE junior, all subjects are in English except language subjects. Our STEAM classes will start on March 21st. The course is 150 ringgit and 10 ringgit material fees, a total of 160 ringgit. So this is what the course looks like. It is worth mentioning that the Huntsman team of our robotics club went to Houston, USA to participate in the World Festival First Lego League in April 2019 and won first place in robot performance. It is a glory to our country. In addition, our Makers Club students have won gold in the 2020 Young Industrial e Bootcamp competition and smart school BOT hackathon national. They also got married in Kuala Lumpur Engineering Science Fair, KLESF International Challenge. This December, the Associated Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry of Malaysia, ACCCIM Science Technology Innovation Competition, our robotics club has won first place with their innovation of quarantine tracker bracelet and our makers club has won second place with their AI serve, the companion port. I believe that as long as you study hard and work hard, you will be able to shine like these outstanding students that invent these brilliant products because you are intricately wired and wonderfully made with great potential. Dear junior one students, I would like to draw your attention to next year online pre-learning classes for junior one from January 10 to February 25th, a total of six weeks. It is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from three to Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Which part did I miss all of you? Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Just now, it was not, oh, I see. So which slides did I miss? Do I need to go back certain slides? 
Uh, Did I start all over? Yeah, no, 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 it's okay. You can continue. Yeah. Just continue. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have scheduled few online talks about CoQ, SOP, and character building. Students must hold dear to their virtues and live a purpose driven life. Okay, now my slide is not moving. Let's see. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so just now I talk about, okay, juniors, when students will return to school on March 21st, right? That's how we talk about. And then my beloved transfer students, school will start on January 10th for you. Uh, please refer to your timetable, physical, or online classes and recess. Your CoQ briefing will be on Tuesday, January 11, 4 to 5 p.m. CoQ is a subject in our coursework. It is compulsory to attend. It complements our academic program, providing all longer education. This is our school floor plan. You need to have new view landmarks. So it is uh, indeed a huge campus. So uh, maybe you can start out with three because bookstore is where you'll get your books and uniforms and other necessities and their finance department where you'll pay your school fees and um, whatnot and the external affairs office, which is just the building right on your right side as you enter gate A. I'd like to draw your attention to these slides. If you have a cough, runny nose, sore throat, fever, and other symptoms, you need to see a doctor. You can return to school after recovery. According to the JPN's SOP, students with above symptoms are not allowed to enter the school. The students have to carry out the COVID-19 antigen rapid test send the result to the form teachers one day before they come back to school. You need to wear masks, keep physical distancing, use a hand sanitizer and thermometer. Just to give a head start for coming back to school for face-to-face -face learning, I'll talk about a few SOP in our school such as locations for hand sanitizing and measuring body temperature at our station X of gates A, B, and D. So on a rainy day, vehicles will enter from gate A. As you can see on the, in the arrow and turn right to drop you off by canteen or go straight to drop you off in front of our hall. If you enter from gate B, you see the other arrows on the, on the right on the, of the screen. So if you enter from gate B, you'll drop off and make a loop in front of our indoor stadium and exit through gate B. And the health screening flowchart starts with the lining up of students at each station, scanning your temperature and sanitizing your hands. If the temperature is over 37.5 degrees Celsius, we scan for three times. If stay the same, the students will be accompanied to our isolation room and contact parents to bring them home. So students will walk in a line, one in front of the other, or go up the stairs on the left and down the stair on they are right with arrows clearly marked. And this will be the classroom floor plan for junior students. And then this will be for the senior students. And then the classes will be split into A and B and the sittings will be as follows. So you must wear a tidy uniform Boys of junior classes will have short pants and senior classes will wear long pants. To establish a strict 
ethos and discourage students from blindly following trends. The school does not allow students to perform or to dye their hair or else they will have their hair cut at home. Not, not at home, at school. Boy hairstyle, you can have fringe above eyebrows, but no sideburns. The hair at your back must be oblique with two centimeters away from your collar and no hair gel. Girl hairstyle, there are two options. You can have a short hair with fringe above eyebrows. Hair length must be less than four centimeters from your eye, from your earlobes. The other option is long hair. It must be in a bun or braided. You need to be punctual to class. One leg will result in one conduct mark deduction. Five leg cases, your form teacher will call your parents. Ten leg cases, our counseling department will write to your parents. Fifteen leg cases, our discipline department will give you a one day suspension for truancy. Form teachers will mark attendance from 7.30 to 7.45 a.m. and subject teachers will mark attendance before lesson start. Students must turn on their cameras and actively participate in Zoom online lessons. Monitor or assistant monitor will help to report down the attendance from the Zoom chat box. Students will type the class name and student ID in the chat box, follow the timetable, prepare the learning tools needed and punctually attend online classes. These are your duty. Effective learning involves your active participation with the right learning attitude, especially self-discipline, including on-time homework sub submission. Daily attendance will ensure successful learning Students who are sick or absent from school must submit MC or letter to their form teachers within three to five days. Else the absence will be considered as truancy. Two conduct marks will be deducted for absenteeism with letters. Six marks will be deducted for absenteeism without reason. So you can order food from the canteen. You can pre-order canteen food from the menu of the week. You must bring two sets of lunch boxes and utensils with your name clearly labeled on the outside of your containers. However, we encourage students to bring their lunches from home. So there'll be toilet breaks for students, but you must ask for a pass a pass card like this from your subject teachers. Students must fully utilize the learning time and seriously participate in classroom online learning. Parents must encourage and urge the children to acquire the right attitude in the classroom. Students must complete their homework and submit it on time to their subject teachers. Using one of the recess to complete your homework, filling out the after school counseling class form and inform parents about staying back the second day to complete their homework for the students who do not complete their homework. So subject teachers will work with students who fail to complete their homework and then the students will have to stay back for a counseling class. So each student will receive a student handbook as such that's appear on your screen that contains the rules and regulations of our school. So students, parents, and school, we work together. So through the learning and growing in a cycle of practicing, failing, reflecting, correcting, and adjusting of students, parents, and school. Indeed, we all will grow together and loving presence with respect, 
patients back in Kerry and Kirshba for each other. The head of this department is our vice principal, Kong, and you can reach him at his email or you can call school too. So before I say goodbye, I would like to wish you a joyful and fruitful high school journey and all parents a good life. Please take care of yourself and each other. Happy New Year. Thank you all. Thank you. And back to you, Sam. All right. Thank you, Dr. Wa, for the explanation. And of course, I'm sure uh, parents and students, you, some of you might have a few questions to ask. So uh, like I said just now, if you have any questions, okay, kindly only ask us at the end of the session because later on we will open up a time, okay, 15 minutes like that for you guys uh, to ask questions. All right, so next, uh, there will be a speech given by our chairman of PTA and also the member of BOD. So, uh, but he's uh, Dr. Mu Xiong Bun. So this is a pre-recorded uh, video. So uh, please watch the video and... Hanjiang Zhongzhi Xiaozang, Zhang Meili Suosu. Lao-si-men, Jia-zang-men, Ji-tong-xie-men, Da-jia-hao. Huan-ning-zai-sien-san-le-ge-wei-jia-zang-men, Ji-xie-sen-men, Jing-zi-neng-gou-chu-si, Hanjiang Zhongzhi, 2021年度的迎新日 这项活动主要的目的是为了邀请家长和学生们来听解在未来这几年里学生们所在的求学及学习的环境。韩江中学在过去的几年里一直都非常积极的推动高素质教育的发展。这是社会及教育界所需要的。也因为如此,董事会家
，即华文、英文、即马来文。随着时代的变迁，英语已经成为世界上最重要即最基本的沟通语文。然而，中文也极其自尊。随着中国今天的缺席，华文的地位也日益普遍而重要。相信。在未来势必成为另一种强势的世界语言。因此，韩江中学除了支持提升英文程度的教育，依然会继续发扬光大华文教育。当然，身为马来西亚子民的我们，需要特别重视国语教育的推广。希望学生们能够重视三语的学习，把自己培养成为通晓三语的人才。这是为了符合大马多元种族的社会，促进各族间的沟通和了解，也是为了让学生在充满竞争的时代有立足之地。Despite Hanjiang is a Chinese private school, we also emphasize that to continue to improve the communications and the study and the third and the uh, second and the third language, which is the English and Bahasa. You know, for Malaysian, we are multi-racial, multinational uh, society. So we need to have the three languages to be mastered by the student, so that it will improve the communication with each other and also become a new value proposition for the industry. Chinese是孩子人生一个起发点，新起点。他们的学习方式、生活习惯都会发生一些变化。学生们要适应这些变化，为此，我希望孩子们可以做到尽快适应新学校的生活，养成良好的习惯，学会学习，学会生活，学会包容，学会尊重，学会沟通，学会自立，即学会从兴趣兴趣中获得快乐，用你们的热情和力量。用你们的聪明才智去学习、去创造、去超越，好好把握自己，让中学生活在你们的青春留言册上写下最为浓墨重彩的一笔。You know, all the students, you are moving from the primary school to the secondary school is another milestone in your lifetime. You have to start to learn how to respect, how to learn. How to respect each other, communicate each other, in independent and also good communication with your friends, your parents, and also with the society. Of course, not to forget that while learning, you need to have how do you able to turn it to become a have fun situation, so they will be happy, continue to learn and motivate yourself, so that you can be a good chapter to be recorded in one of your important milestone in your life. 同时呢，我想借这个机会对家长提出几点希望：一、关注孩子的情绪，喜怒哀乐；二、关注孩子们的学习进度；三、关注孩子们的行为习惯。这几点都很重要，可以帮助家长跟教师的沟通讨论，以确保孩子们。可以很好的快乐的成长。I also would like to take the opportunity to to ask for the help and request from the parents to really monitor your kids closely. Number one, really looking into their emotion. Second, monitoring how they are progressive or they are learning. And last but not least, is also their day-to-day -day behavior. That will help us. The parents and also the teacher have a better communication and to monitor the progress and the grow in the growing of the our kids' uh, journey. Here, you have experience, 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 我相信，只有团结互助的集体，才会有无穷的力量。反之，如果没有团结，即使有再大的力量，也会枯竭。Of course, you have the teachers, very experienced teachers in the school. 
could collaborate and help the parents and the students to continue to help them to grow in their study. We really hope that all the parties, including the parents, teachers and the students can collaborate with each other to make sure that we have a continuous growth in the learning of the students' journey. 最后, 再次欢迎各位新生加入寒江的大家庭, 顺祝在线上的每一位身体健康,事事顺利, 谢谢大家. Lastly, I would like to welcome all the new students to the big family of Hanjiang. And at the same time, I want to wish everyone healthy and wealthy. Thank you very much. Okay, so we, we would like to thank uh, Dr. Dr. Ngu for his uh, words of inspiration and, and encouragement as well. So uh, thank you once again, Dr. Ngu. So next will be a briefing by our Dean of Studies Department, uh, Mr. Lim Seung Jin. So uh, parents and students kindly take uh, pay close attention to this is because it's uh, regarding your studying journey over here. So they are really... Uh, some really important matters that you need to take note of. So over to you, Mr. Lim. Thank you very much, Mr. Sam. Good morning to all the parents and all the students. I'm Mr. Lim here from the academic department, also called studies department in Hanjiang High School. So I'm the dean of uh, Hanjiang High School. So actually, um, as a role in a studies department in Hanjiang High School, our role, main role actually is to ensure the delivery of school curriculum based on the planning and aim of the school, as well as to monitor the quality and teachings that we are able to meet the highest possible standard. Furthermore, we also plan and coordinate school exams, internal and externals, and also academic competitions. One of the important roles for us actually is to provide an up-to-date information and advice to the parents and students of the curriculum that we have provided. So actually today is a very good opportunity for me to deliver and for you to really formalize about the academic examinations and other rules and regulations that we have been practicing and we and in Hanjiang, at Hanjiang High School. Okay, so I hope that um, especially the students were able to pay full attention on my presentations today. Okay, so I will start by welcoming everybody uh, for the it, uh, coming new academic year. So today is the last day of 2-0 and 2-1 and uh, Happy New Year to all of you and I hope that um, you will have a very interesting journey in Hanjiang High School. Okay, so I would like to start my presentations by again to explain the curriculum of Hanjiang High School. So uh, during registration, yeah. I'm sure that my uh, admin, state, uh, admin staff and also the staff from the external department have helped you and explained to you regarding the curriculum of Hanjiang High School. So in Hanjiang High School, junior, we do have three curriculum, namely UEC Chinese, UEC English, and the international curriculum of CIE, which is um, IGCSE curriculum. So the class is as stated on the screen. If you have chosen to study at UEC Chinese, you will be arranged into either J11 or J12. And if you are chosen to study in UEC English, you will be arranged in J13 and J14. And for CIE IGCNC curriculum, you will be arranged in uh, one of the six classes, J1E1 to J1E6. So these are the three courses provided at Hanjiang High School. So I will give another brief explanation on the differences of these three curriculum. Okay, the first will be uh, UEC Chinese. So UEC Chinese is um, the, I mean, the curriculum follows the exam department of Dongzhong. Okay, the Dongzhong. So from Dongzhong, Dong the curriculum, UEC's curriculum will provide six years of uh, studies, six years of syllables, six years of program to the students. So if you register in the UEC Chinese, you will have to study three years in junior, and three years in senior. And on your third year in junior, which is in form three, we call it junior middle three, you will have to register in the UEC junior examination. And after you have completed your junior, you will advance into senior in the fourth year, which is in, which we call it the, the senior one. So at senior one, 
you are able to choose which you are able to choose which courses that you want to focus on. So in Hanzhong High School, we are we have a science, commerce, and arts and design course. So you are able to choose which course you want to choose. Uh, sorry, you want to study in order to help you to pursue your study in your tertiary education. Okay. So after you have completed six years in Hanjiang High School, you will need to sit for a public exam, which is so-called the UEC Senior Examination. And the certificate, certificate that you obtain at this examination is equivalent to A-levels, equivalent to A-levels, meaning that by having the UEC Senior Certificates, you are able to register in the first year at University of Colleges in Malaysia and also internationally. Okay, so uh, as uh, you can see also, I've also provide you the exam fee uh, for the public exam, okay? But this exam fee may subject to change, okay? Next is the second curriculum at Hanjiang High School, which we call it UEC English. Okay, this actually is quite similar with UEC Chinese. One of the main differences says, is that the students are not required to sit for UEC junior exam. When, that, when they are in junior three, okay? So the reason is that because for the, uh, the examination board, which is Dong Zhong, they do not provide English paper for uh, science, mathematics, and also history and geography. So that's the reason. But on the sixth year, which is the senior UEC examination, they provide Chinese and also English paper. So that's the reason why. For UEC English students, they do not sit for junior three UEC exam, but to only sit for UEC English. Uh, U, sorry, UEC senior examination while they are in senior media three. Okay, so this actually is the main differences. But uh, in other 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 parts, for example, like the, the courses in ex, uh, in senior, it will be still the same. Okay, and I need to also emphasize regarding the course that we provide for senior. So as you can see on, the, on your right-hand side on the screen, so we do provide, as I mentioned just now, science, commons, and arts and design. So for science, majority of the medium are in teaching media, medium are in, uh, uh, is in English. And for commerce, students are able to choose English or Chinese. And for arts and design, it will be mainly in Chinese. Okay, so students will choose which course that they, they prefer uh, when they are in junior three. Okay, lastly is the CIE curriculum, the CIE course, which is the IGCSE course. So in Hanjiang High School, students will study five years, five years from one until from five. Okay, and in from five, okay, on their fifth year, they will register for the Cambridge IGCSE examination. Okay. For Chinese, uh, for the Cambridge IGCSE examination, the certificates is equivalent to O levels, to O levels. So most of the students, um, I mean, uh, from, uh, from past previous uh, students who have graduated, after they obtain the O level certificate, which is the IGCSE certificate, they will continue to study A levels, okay, at colleges or many universities. Then with that A levels, they will pursue and continue advance to the uh, registered for the university enrollment. Okay, so the differences for CIE and also UEC is that one is O level and the other one is A levels. One is five years and the other one is six years. Okay, I also like to um, focus on the exam fee. Since that Cambridge IGCSE is a UK based examination and the, the, the fees are in pound. So it is a bit expensive. Okay, compared to uh, lo uh, local UEC examinations. So it costs about like 700 to 1,002 for per language. Okay, just, just actually this is to, just to have an, an, uh, an overview for the parents. Okay, so here, these are the three uh, curriculum uh, provided by the school. Okay, so uh, and as thing that has mentioned by Dr. Hua just now, so for all the junior one students, as you will, come to school for physical lesson in March. Okay, you are still in your primary school for January and February next year. So that's why we are having the Junior One Pre-Learning Program. So it will start on the 10th of January until the 25th of February. So at that time, you will be having a learning 
pre-learning by using the Zoom platforms, by using the Zoom platform, meaning that our teachers, subject teachers, will, be, will start the curriculum on the 10th of January. So you will get the information of the Zoom details of our subject teachers when we, uh, when we release the timetable. Okay, so the subjects that you will study is Chinese, English, Malay, Mathematics, and Science. These are the five subjects that we'll be teaching you online. Then when you come back to school for the physical class, meaning that in uh, March, you will get the full uh, subjects, meaning that we'll add in some other subjects, for example, like STEAM, computer subjects, and also like for PE, moral, it will be added in. But currently, for the Zoom online learning, only five subjects are provided. Okay, so I'm sure that for the past two years, you have been learning online as well by using maybe Zoom or maybe uh, Google Classroom. Okay, but at Hanjiang High School, we have been using Zoom for uh, during the pandemic period. So we will continue to use Zoom. So I would like to also to remind parents, uh, if your child does not have a Zoom uh, software kindly installed for them, it's quite a user-friendly uh, platform whereby you just key in the teacher's Zoom ID and password, you are able to join the class. So I would also like to remind the teachers regarding the rules and regulations while you are studying online. Okay, so these are these are the, the I mean these are the rules that you should really follow. But I would like to focus on two two rules. Number one is to wear school uniform. So in Hanja High School, while you're having online lesson, even though you're having online lesson at home, you are required to wear school uniform or our school PE, physical education shirt, okay? And you need to also to switch on your webcam. You need to switch on your webcam. And other rules, I'm sure that you're also familiar. I think your, your primary schools are also will, will need you to follow the rules as well. So these are the rules while you are starting in Hanja High School online. Okay, next I will go on to the arrangements of class. I think parents will be curious to know how do we arrange your child into the classes. As I said, UEC have two classes, IGCSE have six classes. So your child will be arranged by using the Hanjiang High School entrance test results. Okay, so we will follow that results. We will use the results to arrange your, 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 your child into the correct classes okay so kindly take note so um i also like to alert that if your child register for elementary chinese meaning that elementary chinese is uh, more like a uh, foundation chinese foundation students you will be arranged into j1 e3 okay without uh considering the entrance test result because there's only one class with elementary chinese which is j1 e3 okay and talking about elementary chinese i'm sure that some of the parents are still about confused what's the difference between chinese language and elementary chinese okay so uh, elementary chinese actually is a special program okay designed by hanjiang high school is to provide for those students with minimal background or minimal knowledge in chinese language meaning that during primary time during the primary school, they are not studying, uh, they, they do not, the students do not study in a, in, in a Chinese primary school, whereby maybe they are from international schools, they are from Kebangsaan school. So meaning that they only have a minimal knowledge, minimal knowledge about Chinese language. Therefore, they are able to, to study uh, the normal Chinese language. So that's why we have elementary Chinese. Okay, so uh, another question that I always get from the parents is that, okay, my son, my daughter is from a Chinese primary school, okay, for six years, for five years. But actually, their Chinese is very weak, okay? The Chinese mark is weak. Can I register for the elementary Chinese? The answer is no. The answer is no, okay? So we arrange, we categorize the students, local Chinese and elementary Chinese, by looking at their background, not looking at their marks. So I would need uh, parents and also uh, all the students to take note. And also, we do not allow you to request for any change of classroom and course because as I said, all the arrangements are based on the results. So you are not, uh, you are not able to, to, to ask a request to change the classroom, okay? Okay, next I want to talk about our school internal examination. So hopefully this year, the pandemic is um, able to uh, get I mean, to become, uh, I mean, the pandemic is, uh, I mean, the, the pandemic in the 
will be getting better. And therefore, we are able to hold a physical exam. So we have planned for the coming year, there will be three exams for all the students. The first exam is in April, second exam in August, and the third exam in November. Okay, the first exam will be considered as a small scale exam. And the second and third exam in August and November, we will consider as a major exam. It's a major exam. So it's a minor exam and also a major exam. So I would like the, uh, students to take note that you are starting in January and February, you are starting online. In March, you are coming back to school. In April, you are having your first test. So start, starting from January and February, even though you are starting online, you do have to take note that all the things that you learned will be as a exam scope for the, for the first exam in April. Okay, so there will be three exams for you next year. Okay, then during exam, okay, there are a few things that uh, we, me as a study student, we always receive many requests from the parents that if my child is unable to attend the exam, do the school provide a makeup exam for them? The answer is no. Okay, so in, our, in Hanjiang High School, we don't provide a, a makeup exam for those who absent. Okay. But if you are having some unforeseen circumstances, unforeseen reasons, for example, you are sick, you have an external exam, you represent Malaysia to competitions outside the country, and maybe some other issue, or maybe you have an accident, you have a serious illness that you have to admit in the hospital. So we will need the documents. We will need the rele uh, re uh, relevant documents, and we will consider your marks to be exempted, meaning that the marks for that subject will not be calculated will not be calculated. But one issue I need to emphasize is that during exam, if you are sick, our school, we will only accept the MC, the medical leave from a hospital or from a government clinic. We don't accept medical leave issued by clinic during examination only. Meaning that if it's a non-examination day, you can go for a clinic. But when it is during the exam day, you have to go to either hospital or government clinic to get the medical leave. Okay, so kindly take note regarding this two important um, notes regarding uh, the school examination. Okay, then we come to the calculations of subject marks. So in Hanjiang High School, there are two ways that we calculate mark, and the mark will be printed at your report card. Okay, for first exam, which is in April, what you receive, I mean, what marks that you obtain in your paper will be printed on the uh, report card, okay? But for major examination, meaning uh, in August and in, in November, the marks that printed in the report card includes homework and class tests, meaning that starting from your, starting from January, all the homeworks given by the teachers, Class tests assigned by the teachers are calculated as part of your subject marks. Okay, so uh, for example, maybe 100% uh, of the of, of full marks, maybe 60% is considered as uh, the exam paper marks. Another 20 will be class tests, another 20 will be homework. This is just example. Meaning that 20, 20 marks are derived from homework and class tests. So meaning that every assignment, every homework that you submitted to your to your teachers, it takes count. So kindly take note on this, okay? And let's, okay, for about distributions of academic reports. So we will distribute an annual yearly report to all the students after the end of the last exam, which is in November. And for in April and August, parents will be guided to check their results by using our school admin system, okay? Okay, so we also have a platform, activities, uh, for a platform for uh, parents to communicate with the form teachers. So it, we, uh, we call it as a parents day in Hanjiang High School. So we have planned to have an online parent days on the 2nd of July, which is in uh, Saturday. So any further details, we will update you when it's uh, near to the, the, the activity day, okay? And in Hanjiang High School, we also practice uh, promote and also uh, with the, and the retain system. So in order to able to successfully advance to the next level, okay, your yearly average marks have to be 50% and above. Your yearly, yearly average marks. That yearly average marks 
includes all the subjects that you have studied and also includes the co-curriculum as well. So the marks of, there's only one, uh, one total marks, one total average mark. If that total, total marks more than 50%, then you are safe, you are able to advance on the next level. Okay, so if you are below, you may, you may be retained. Okay, then for our passing mark for each subject is 60%, right? 60. Okay, so I also like you to, um, if you haven't do so, kindly do so, to like our Hanjiang Facebook page, uh, Facebook FB page in order to get the latest information from our school. Okay, so as uh, most of the notice will be published in the Hanjiang High School, Facebook page. But for if there are more things, meaning that more relevant documents that we need to attach, we can't do it at Facebook. We will update, I mean, sorry, we will upload, we will publish on our school official website. So kindly also to flag bookmark our school website, which is www.hcs.edu.my. Okay, so an, more, an important announcement is that on next Friday, which is on the 7th of January next year, 9 p.m., we will announce, we will publish your class timetable and your class name list. So if you, uh, on that day, you can visit our school uh, website to get your class, to get your class and also your class timetable. Okay, so the details of Zoom ID and password for your subject teachers will be printed on your class timetable. So you need to follow that timetable and to enter the Zoom class of that teacher on the first day, which is on the October of January. Sorry, it's on the 10th of January. Okay, on the 10th of January. So kindly mark this day. Kindly mark this day. Okay. And uh, finally, to contact us, we welcome some feedbacks also. Any inquiry, kindly you can use all these ways by calling us, emailing us, fax us, or even uh, send an, uh, or maybe you can write to us. But however, when you are writing or asking, requesting something or an inquiry to our school, kindly do provide your child's name, student number, and class. Okay, so you just don't write that my child, I don't know who is your child. So kindly do indicate your child's name, your child's number, and the class that he's in, he or she is in. Okay. So uh, another note to parents that if you have any change of your address, contact number, kindly do inform the school immediately. Okay, because this is a very important information that we need from you. So if you have uh, updated your address, home address, also contact number, kindly do inform us um, uh, as soon as possible. Okay, and I'm sure that some of the parents have been have bought the school, bought uh, from the school bookstore, new books. Okay. But I need to also to remind that we allow you to buy secondhand book, but only for textbook. If it is a workbook, you need to buy a new workbook. You need to buy a new book for workbook. You can't use a secondhand workbook. Okay, so kindly take note of this. So if you're buying a secondhand textbook, kindly also to make sure that that textbook is the correct version, correct edition, that is used by Hanjiang High School. Okay, so kindly do take note of this. And lastly, I would like to wish all of you and hope that you have a happy learning journey at Hanjiang High School. So uh, happy new year and thank you very much. So I'll pass back. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll pass back my, present, uh, my part now to Mr. Sam. Thank you very much. Right, thank you, Mr. Lim for the briefing just now. Uh, once again, a reminder to all of you, okay, especially parents, little students, uh, can you like us on uh, Facebook, okay, as where you can get all the uh, important information over there. Okay, now without further delay, next will be the briefing by our co uh, head of department, head, head of our co department. All right, so Ms. Po, so over to you, Ms. Po. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, dear parents and students, welcome to Han Chang. Okay, I'm going to share with you regarding our school's core curriculum. Okay, in secondary school, or to say in Han Chang, 
co-curriculum is one of the subject and it is uh, counted, uh, marks will be given. Therefore, let's see what's the target of the co-curriculum in Hanshan. Firstly, we are going to enhance students' capability of organization and participation in co-curriculum activities to bring up students' voluntary vitality, to improve students' development on education of moral, intellectual, physical, collective, aesthetics, and career-related experiences, to motivate students' potentials and develop their skills, to develop students' physical fitness and mental alertness. We have around 45 uh, kind, uh, types of uh, uh, society in our school. Okay, and the activities time in our school is on Tuesday and Thursday from 2.35 p.m. and to 4.15 on Tuesday. And for Thursday is from 1.55 until 4.15, okay? There are six category of uh, uh, types of uh, society we have in our school. That is a uh, uniform body services, STEAM uh, category, that we have robotics makers, computer science, mathematics, arts, and uh, craft. And for performing arts, okay, we have sports category and also the cultures communication. Okay. Under every society, there are coaches and the teacher advisors. Okay. For the activities on uh, Tuesday, this is all we have computer, interact arts and craft, public speaking, counseling, history and geography, language and cultures, Japanese language, mathematics, Leo, Buddhist, karate, basketball, volleyball, football, athletic, table tennis, and badminton. This is all your choices on Tuesday. And then for Thursday, we have all, mostly is the, uh, uniform bodies and services like Boy Scout, Girl Guides, St. John, Boys Brigade, Green Education Society, Taekwondo, Science, Xiangqi, the Chinese Xiangqi, Chess, Dragon Dance, Choreography, and Jabolo. This is the choices for Thursday. Okay, so you may choose one society from Tuesday here and then matching with one from this category. And then for this third category, because this, category, uh, this society need more times to practice in order you can perform and can participate in a competition, we need two days, okay? So if you are choosing from this category, then you only need to join one type of society. That is, uh, the choices here are wind orchestra, Chinese orchestra, string, 24 festive drums, choir society, live band, drama, dance, mass communication. Mass communication is like reporter club, okay? You are going to uh, write uh, news about school and take pictures, okay, when the school have events. Wireless society means uh, we're in charge of the stage performance, the sound system. Robotics and makers, these two are regarding the STEAM uh, category, okay? Okay, just now I did mention that because the CoQ is one of the subject, therefore we have you, you, we have a marking scheme for uh, CoQ. Okay, 50% for the attendance, 15% for the achievement, 25% for the participations, and 10% for the executive community, uh, committees. And also we have an additional marks, 15 marks. Okay, how do we count the the bonus mark or the extra marks for this. For example, if you are the uh, monitor or the prefects in a class, you do a lot of uh, services uh, during school events, then we will uh, reward you. We will reward you by giving you the marks, okay, according to the service hours that you do, okay. And in order to, to encourage the students to continue his uh, uh, sincerity in the same uh, society, we have this seniority uh, bonus mark for students also. For the second year, 
let's say you are joining the ping pong society, okay? If you join the ping pong so society for the second year, okay, when you are informed to, you, you will be given three marks. And then for the third year, you still continue to join the same society. We'll give you the extra six marks, okay? And if you are joining the same society until your graduated year, then you will be given nine marks, okay? And this uh, bonus mark is out of 100 marks. That means it's a bonus from your total marks will be given. So regarding this uh, marking scheme, I will explain in very details, okay, during our CoQ briefing on the 11th of January, okay? And in order to stimulate students' potential and encourage them to participate in sports competition, our school has set up this method to enable students to cultivate their ambitions for the group through competition. Okay, this is for the sports activities. Okay. And then let's talk about the rules and regulations regarding co-curricular activities. Every student in Hanjan must participate in at least one type of activity in our school. And students must strictly follow the dress code and grooming that are specified by the society. That means if uh, your society uh, needed the uniform, then every time you need to wear your uniform and attend the activities. Students who are absent have to provide MC or parents' letter to teacher advisor. Okay? It is the same when you are absent from school, you also need to provide your MC or parents' letter to your form teacher, as well as in a society. Okay? One mark will be deducted for the late comer. Let's say we are starting in 2.35 and you come at 3 p.m. Okay, then one mark will, will be deducted from your CoQ marks. Okay. It is considered absent if student was early dismiss, dismissed on Tuesday or Thursday. Okay. Be, uh, not because of your the sickness, but because of your uh, personal reason. Okay. Okay. In order to let uh, all the former students to know more of our society in details, we are going to do the Q introduction session on uh, 15th of January and 2nd, 22nd of January, which is falls on Saturday from morning 9 a.m. to 10.30. Okay, for the first day, for the first part, 15th of January, we are going to talk about the Performing Arts and Sports Society. We are doing via Zoom, okay? We'll provide the Zoom ID and password uh, in our Facebook, okay? And then on 22nd of January, Saturday, 9 to 10.30 a.m., we are going to talk about the uniform services team, cultures, communication via Zoom also. We'll invite all the teacher advisor and also the committee to share with you, okay? So before you choose, your favorite uh, society, you may listen to our introduction first before you do your selection for co-curriculum co activities. So for the students, for the senior and junior which, uh, who will come back to uh, having lesson in our school, they are also will start having the co lesson indoor in the classroom. So when the former student, all of you are coming back uh, to, to Han Chiang, then you will join them, okay? When it's whether uh, following the senior or junior session to come back to school, or maybe by, by March, hopefully everyone can come back to school, then you will have the CoQ lesson together in school, okay? We are not doing, we are not going to do the CoQ activities online anymore, okay? Okay, these are the uh, planning or the events that we are going to do in uh, 2022. Okay, there's the CoQ briefing Zoom on uh, 11 of January via Zoom, 4 to 5 p.m. And then on the, uh, just now I mentioned the 15th of January, we are having the Zoom for the Performing and Sports Society. On 22nd of January, we are having the theme, the cultures and the services and uniforms uh, introduction via Zoom. And then on 28th of uh, January, we are going to do the Chinese New Year celebration. 
and also the Chinese calligraphy contest. Okay. In a March, we are going to have a drawing competition and leadership training camp for the uh, leaders and the committees of the society. And then for uh, May, we are going to have the take, uh, Teacher's Day. We are in charge of the events. Okay, Mostly will involve the Performing Arts Society. And then in June and July, we are going to have our school anniversary celebration and also the Cultural Night. Okay? In September, we are going to have a PTA, uh, sponsored by PTA, the Excellent Performance Award Ceremony, which means uh, students that have a great performance uh, externally uh, will invite all the students to come to this Excellent Performance Award. Okay, in uh, October, we are going to count our cocoa marks, which uh, we only count once in a year. And then in October also, we are going to have the Han Chang Got Talent Competition. Registration will start. Okay, and then in uh, November, we're going to have the convocation ceremony. And also in December, we are, we hopefully we can do the Han Chang Got Talent Competition Award live in our school okay so um that's all from me i want to i wish that all the former students that come to hanjang you can live a balanced life between study and casual for all for we know that study is not only in class or textbook only study is more more than that by uh, joining the school society and activities you can learn more that you have in the in the books or in the classroom okay and i want to wish everyone a happy new year stay safe and stay healthy thank you all right so thank you so miss for on the briefing on the coq part so uh just to remind all of you that a link yeah a link will be sent okay like i mean right now Okay, so students, if you haven't clicked on the link to mark your attendance, so kindly click on the link right now. Okay, so, so that uh, you can mark your attendance over there. So right now uh, will be the Q&A session. So parents or students, if you have any questions, right, this is the time for you to ask. We'll open up uh, 15 minutes for all of you. If you have any questions, just ask us at the chat box. Uh, our staff and administrators will do our very best to answer your questions. And uh, maybe even Dr. Wai and myself, uh, we will be able to answer some of the questions uh, over here as well. So if you have any questions, uh, don't be shy. Huh? Don't be shy. Uh, feel free to ask us. And also just to remind parents, if you have any questions uh, after this session, uh, if any uh, additional questions that you want to ask, you can always call up the school. I'd like to just answer uh, probably about one question is that um, regarding what uh, dress code for the uh, for the online classes uh, for the junior one. So the afternoon classes, the pre-learning classes, you just need to wear something tidy and neat, okay? So I understand that you do not have uniforms or even a sports uniform. So tidy and neat clothing will do. I would like to answer Jasleen. She asked that, may I know how many cocoons should I have to join? Okay. Just now I mentioned, right, I, I, I will share my uh, PPT again.
if you are choosing from this category, then you only join one type. Okay. If you are choosing from here, the Tuesday one, this is the society that only have on Tuesday. And this is the society that only have activities on Thursday. So if you are choosing from these two, then you need to join at least two types of society. You get what I mean? Jasmine, are you clear? If you are choosing from here, from P001 until N018, then you only have to join one type of activities. Thank you. So for someone to ask about regarding the shirts again, what color shirts to wear for the junior one during the pre-learning classes, any color would do. And then the other question about um, when you are back to school, do we do you get a chance to wear the black shoes? No, all white shoes for our school. Okay, <clears throat> could the student change the curriculum over the years? The answer is no. You need to join until uh, November. Okay, we have a period. If you are not uh, happy or you are not satisfied uh, in a society that you join, then you can make an application to change for in uh, November. Okay. Okay, uh, I think somebody asked, uh, okay, uh, Tor K. Dan, uh, he asked for IGCSE program, are the students required to study Bahasa Malaysia and history syllabus, same as SPN syllabus? No, okay, because uh, it's a totally different syllabus. But if you want to take SPM, can, yes, you can take SPM also. Uh, Jaden Ang, the, the, your timetable has not been released yet. It will be released on the 7th of January. Uh, yes, this online orientation uh, will be recorded, so you'll be available on our website. I think Dr. Wa, can you uh, share your PowerPoint again to, to them uh, regarding the online classes for junior one? For, is it? Because uh, the, there's no timetable yet. No, I don't know my share, but there's no timetable. That's till, um, because I think they, they just want to know the timetable as you have answered them. That oh, is I, January 7th. 
So what I just say was very uh, broad and general, but you know, on the weekdays. So uh, do you want I me to show that one? That's what they want. With, uh, Mr. Lee. Yeah. Remember the time already, right? Yeah, I think he answered by saying school allows the class later. Because right now it's just very general. Can we bring handphone to school? I think uh, this one, Mr. Peng, <laughs> need to answer this. Okay, junior one student, uh, at this moment, uh, you are not allowed to bring handphone to school. Okay, Mr. Peng has said it loud and clear. <laughs> okay, uh, at this moment, junior one stu students are not allowed to bring handphone to school. So I see quite a few of you are concerned about your textbook, your English textbook or uh, any other textbook. So when you have the class list and then you have your form teachers, just uh, inform your form teachers that you, uh, you do not have that particular textbook or for your online classes, even the pre-learning, for let's say for example, English textbook, you do not have it, just let your English teacher know that you do not have that, uh, you know, the textbook, is not available so that they can uh, not adapt from there, okay? Some of you are asking whether you can leave. If you don't have any questions, please feel free to leave if you don't have any questions. Yes, uh, we'll be ending the session in five minutes. So if any more questions, Kindly ask because we will uh, end the session in five minutes. The pre-learning classes is compulsory. So if you, um, you know, you can make arrangements. Um, it is compulsory. So try to um, work it out. So for senior IGCSE students wanting to study additional subjects, how to go by if our school, um, that, you know, those that are not offered by our school, you will have to get your own um, private tuition. So as I mentioned, the pre-learning class material, you, uh, please communicate with your uh, subject teachers when you uh, you know when you when you meet with them. For those that do not have student ID, call our school uh, and then you know ask for the student ID there. But for now, if for the market, you know, you, uh, for the market attendance for the Google form, just type in your name. If you cannot have 
if you do not remember your student ID. So the same questions that you're asking about when does the prelim class start, you know, uh, we already mentioned a few times that on January 7, uh, look for the announcement. And then for English workbook not available until February, how, uh, as I mentioned, mention to your form teachers. When the books available, it will be when school start. The form teachers will inform you because the bookstore will inform the form teacher, so you'll get the information from there. Okay, another two minutes that we will end uh, this session. So if there are any more questions, kindly ask uh, right now before we end the session in, in two minutes. That's a question regarding about the uh, glasses. This student asked twice, can wear glasses in clear color frame? Can Scarlett, can you explain yourself? What do you mean by clear color frame? And then there's another student, Ryo Tan Shing Hong, say we are expect to select the relevant CCA. So if you want to, please, you know, don't use abbreviation. What do you mean by CCA after all the previews? You know, if you have a color, if you have a glass just like mine, you can wear a glass. So I'm not sure what do you mean. Isn't all glasses clear? I don't quite get your question. I think CCA means uh, co-curriculum activities. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, Miss Po has okay. already answered. Uh, answered here. Yeah. Wonderful. So there are still some uh, repeating questions about uniforms, as I mentioned to you. Your, you know, just uh, you know, we'll inform you through your form teacher. Uh, when you can come back to pick up uniforms.
Okay, um, I think we will close the uh, Q&A session. Uh. So parents, once again, if you have any questions, you can always uh, call, up, call up the school okay, to get to know more information about uh, what you want to know. All right, so uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you once again for attending this session. And uh, once again, I would like to say, I wish you guys a happy new year. Okay, remember to stay safe and stay healthy. And I'll see you guys, uh, especially the new students, okay, next year in Hanjiang High School in the year 2022. All right, so thank you very much. Uh, you all may leave the session now. Thank you.